Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you my progress on this possum concept I'm doing for Game of Shrooms. If you don't know what that is, uh, just look it up. It's an art scavenger hunt that happens worldwide. It's mushroom themed. Yeah. Anyways. I did a raccoon last time. You can check my previous video here or in the comments. But this time I wanted to do a possum and so yeah. I wanted to do not just a portrait of a possum, I wanted to do like a full baby possum moment. At first, I wanted him to be hanging by his tail, but I thought that wouldn't work because why would he... I don't know. I wanted a complete drawing and I didn't want to have it hanging on a branch and I would only draw part of a branch. I don't know. I wanted the whole thing to look very complete. I didn't want any part of the drawing to be cut off. So instead, I made his tail hold one mushroom and his cute little hands hold the other one. Drawing possum hands is so weird because they, they straight up have hands. They, they are able to clench their hand into a fist. It's not like a dog paw or anything like that. So I had to study the anatomy of possums for a little bit um, to be able to fix his arms and feet. And I'm really glad I did because I think they turned out really great and it looks somewhat realistic on an anatomy level. So yeah, that's what I was going for. I also wanted to give him a huge grin or like screaming possum face. So um, yeah, I erased how I did his mouth before and looked at a different reference photo to see what it looks like when they scream because I love that. Hello, possum memes, duh. And of course, I included a third eye. That's kind of the theme of this whole thing is mushrooms, right? So I included a third eye on the possum. His eyes are going to be glowing. And I included some eyes on the mushrooms too, just because, I mean, it's that and spiders is just my thing. Putting an unnecessary amount of eyeballs on everything, it just seems to be... What would I gravitate towards? I don't know why, so yeah. So then I was like, okay, I want there to be a flower border because I'm going to be painting the main subject matter. Uh, so the mushrooms and the possum in gouache. And then I also wanted to include my ink, my ballpoint ink art style with gouache. And so I decided that it would be best to use that medium for the border and create almost like a vintage looking floral ornate frame around the whole painting. I went with irises, it's one of my favorite flowers, and yeah, I just kind of stuck them around. I copy and pasted it on the other side and kind of mirrored it because I, I just thought it looked very even that way. I didn't want this thing to be lopsided and just trying to keep the whole composition balanced. Um, by arranging the flowers nice like that. I'm also trying to keep in mind that there's a lot going on in this and I don't want the line art to look super confusing so around each subject matter, so around the possum and around the mushrooms, like around each thing or element in the painting, I'm darkening the outlines and I was also erasing some a bit from the fur because it was a little too thick, but yeah, this just makes it easier so that when I transfer it onto illustration board, I don't get confused and overwhelmed by all the lines. I'm able to look at each element of the drawing as a separate entity. Looking at the whole art piece now, I decided that it was missing a little bit from the border. I didn't want there to just be flowers. I wanted there to be more attention to detail, so I decided to include some bumblebees. Yeah, um, and I'm really glad I did because I think it adds more interest to the ballpoint ink area. It's not just flowers, you know? It's like, I, I like artwork where you look in one area and then you keep finding more within that area, if that makes sense. There's a lot of detail and stuff going on, so. Yeah, I really like this bumblebee. And then I did another one that is kind of fat looking. <laughs> and I have him hanging on the petal of one of the irises on top. And I only did two. I didn't want to do too many. 
but it looked a little lopsided so I did cave in and add a spider and a spider web that's kind of my thing it's you know yeah <laughs> to be expected if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the rest of my series and I'll see you next week bye